today we are going to see about balanced tachymeter balanced tachymeter construction working principle theory and explanation part okay don't just that just up into the video up into the video before we see balanced tachymeter let's see what are their basic fleming's left hand rule take your left left hand and stretch your thumb four finger and middle finger mutually perpendicular to each other your thumb finger indicates the direction of the force your middle finger indicates the direction of the current your four finger indicates the direction of magnetic field ah uh, okay uh, fleming's left hand rule uh, used to for to find the direction of the force when we know the magnetic field and current direction of the current okay here you can see the picture a picture the fleming's left hand rule magnetic magnetic field line pass through the north to south so that the four finger indicates the magnetic field and and the current pass through the coil in this direction so that the four finger indicates the the current so that the direction of the force apply on the upward only if the current pass in this direction the direction of the force will apply downwards okay let me see oh, oh, torque torque is nothing but apply force on the axis of the edge so that it produce a oh, rotation this is called as a torque torque formula is force into distance you can see in a door 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 edge uh, while you apply on the edge of the door it door will get protected let me see couple couple is nothing but applied force in two different direction and it spin in a same same place here you can see in a force apply f2 and f1 apply in different direction so that it produce twist for example you can see in the uh, water bottle water bottle cap open while for example you can see uh, while opening the water bottle cap let me see what are the principle of ballistic galvanometer as i seen before the fleming's left hand rule uh, when a current pass through the coil uh, in a magnetic field which placed in a magnetic field it expresses a force this force is called as an torque torque this give direction to the direction of the force here you can see the coil placed in a coil placed in a magnetic field and it express a force upward uh, uh, while if the current pass this direction the uh, the force torque produced in downwards uh, construction of the moving coil uh, ballistic galvanometer uh, consider of rectangular coil prosperous bronze wire spring two terminal t1 and t2 mirror and lump scale arrangement and horseshoe magnet rectangle coil the rectangle coil have large numbers of turn of thick copper wire wounded wire insulator frame insulator wire the cylindrical shaft iron core placed in cylindrically inside the coil to increase the magnetic flux the momentum of inertia is large and the torque also is large torsional and the torsional couple also large here you can see an a rectangular coil placed in a iron iron soft iron core Bro phosphorus wire phosphorus wire will suspend the two magnetic poles and suspend the coil in the two magnetic poles and it placed in a mirror spring here you can see a spring it generate a restore torque in the coil two terminal t1 and t2 this used to do in the power supply power supply only be in a dc voltage lamp scale arrangement and the lamp scale arrangement and the mirror lamp scale arrangement and mirror are used to for in a measuring a deflection okay let me see in a horseshoe magnetic pole it used to to create in a radical magnetic field so, uh, so that 
the coil always perpendicular to each other always have perpendicular to each other let me see in a free vibration and damping basic cup okay free vibration means when we hang a weight on the spring it will be oscillated in this in this wave pattern uh, in some particular state the wave pattern will reduce because of uh, air resistant and material of the property etc as i show in this graph working when a dc voltage apply in a rectangle coil placed in a magnetic field the torque on the coil and get get deflection the torque directly proportional to the current passed through the coil when the coil deflects the mirror also get deflected because the coil and mirror attached in the phosphorus bronze wire if the mirror get deflected the screening also get deflected the coil the charge directly proportional to the deflection of the coil ballistic galvanometer used for in measuring small amount of the current passed through the short duration ballistic galvanometer used for used for comparing emf of two cell comparing capacity of two capacitor to measure a self inductance and thermal emf and magnetic permeability and i resistant interior design of ballistic galvanometer here you can see an a prosperous bronze wire attached to the mirror which wounded a rectangular coil and placed in a magnetic field lines when the dc current pass through the terminal t1 and t2 the coil get deflected so that the mirror get deflected the light source will be applied in the scale lamp scale reading here you can see an a damping occurs in a scale the light get oscillated in some point the light come to the stable state this is called as an this is how the ballistic galvanometer reading can find you can watch this video so that the, you can see the ballistic galvanometer come to stable state mm. the charge directly proportional to the deflection of the rectangular coil ballistic galvanometer theory part that the current and magnetic field are parallel to each other they the force torque will not produce so that the ac and ab only get produce a torque and ab and be act as a zero force so that we know that the torque formula is force into distance between the access point so that torque is equal to na ab sin theta the sin theta is equal to 90 so that the sin 90 is equal to 1 tor tor ti by na is equal to 1 the angle of impulse and produce in the coil angle impulse is equal to tor and time time tor into a time tau dt is equal to na ab into dt if the current passes through the net t second then the total angular impulse is integration of tau tau d theta integration of n a b i d t we know that i is equal to d q by d t d q is equal to i dot d t so that n a b integration of t d q so that equation 3 is equal to total angular impulse is equal to n a b q angular impulse mass into velocity into distance of uh, axis of rotation mass into velocity is momentum into distance distance from the axis of rotation angular impulse is equal to angular momentum n a b q is equal to i omega 
kinetic energy of the moving system 1 by 2 i omega square take an assumption equation 5 work done in the twisting of suspended wire work done is equal to integration of cu d theta so that work done is equal to cu cu c theta square by 2 the time period of the vibration t is equal to 2 pi 2 pi i of i c square on both sides so that the root get cancel and t square 4 pi r square i by c if the, we need high value only so that the other element of goes to the null of tension so that the equation sum will be i is equal to c uh, t square by 4 pi square equating equation phi n equation c so that 2 2 get cancel so that i omega into c omega square multiply equation 7 and 8 so that we multiply equation 7 and 8 so that uh, i square omega square c square t square theta square divided by 4 pi square taking root on both the side i omega is equal to c t 2 pi theta equating 4 and 9 so that we get n a b q c t 2 by 2 pi theta q is equal to c by n a b t by 2 by theta the c by n a b t 2 t by 2 pi is denoted as constant k is called as an balcony constant so that the final open current directly proportional to the deflection of the coil this is called balcanistic equation thank you for watching this video if you like this video please press like button and comment share it to your friend if you need the summary of the video you can check my blog blog link in the description please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will not miss our upcoming video and you will be next video